okay in this video we will see how can we access the code access security through um, dot net configuration utility so to uh, access the tool click on the start button I'm doing this in a Windows 7 machine and then go to control panel once you are in a control panel uh, you can go to the administrative tool so just click on the search control panel location then type administrative so here in the left side you see the filtered result so from this result I am uh, clicking uh, administrative tools you can read the location here control panel system and security administrative tools so inside the location you will see a Microsoft uh, .NET uh, framework configuration so 2.0 configuration is uh, sufficient for uh, um, okay. 2.0 configuration tool is sufficient for demonstrating the code access uh, security zones <laughs> Once you are in the required zone, uh, just expand uh, my computer. Then expand uh, runtime security policy. Then, if you see, um, there are three major division one is enterprise, and another one is machine level, then uh, user level. So, I am expanding the machine level. And here you can see code groups so code access security uh, will come under this uh, code groups and zones you can see here so now when I expand all code so you can read it as like this all code zone all code zone has a lot of subdivision and here you can see different zone um, this is my computer zone that means uh, the assembly runs in the computer belongs to that zone internet zone internet zone means um, the application that runs through the internet then local internet zones that means the application that runs through um, local internet So these are all the security zones uh, and you just saw how uh, you can visit the security zones through .NET configuration utility. So inside security zones if I expand say for example if I expand my computer zone it has uh, two more subdivision. Similarly um, if you expand local internet zone you can see some other uh, <laughs> zone specific detail um, internet same site access and internet same directory access so I'm just clicking the local internet zone and then right clicking there then choosing uh, properties so if you see there are three types general membership condition and permission in the permission you can see the um, permissions that are allocated to the application that in runs in the local internet zone so if I click uh, say for example environment zone and see view permission now I can say that any application that runs in the local internet zone can read username property that's the only permission granted 
when considering the environment variable permission so all other environment variable it cannot uh, read or even write for username also it can just read but it cannot uh, write the username and environment variable so that's how you can see the dot net security uh, applied through zones so here here you are seeing the zone uh, based on the permissions and uh, location so that's all here in the configuration utility closing this video now